Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create an absence using Smart Find Express. There are two ways you can access Smart Find Express. You can start from the home page and click on absent.dvusd.org, or you can also access it from Portal. Today I'm going to show you how to go to Portal and ac access it from Portal. You'll want to log in to Portal. You'll do this by entering your username and your password. Then you'll want to choose Login. If you, when you get to the portal and you check in that your menu does not have Smart Find Express, you'll want to click on More to see all of the district websites. And then you can see that as I scroll down, I will be able to find Smart Find Express. Since I like to make things in my menu a little more user friendly, I might want to click and drag Smart Find over into my menu and that way I can access it easily the next time I need to create an absence. Now also remember that in this menu you're more than able to set it to exactly how you like it. To move things in your menu all you have to do is click on it and then just drag it and drop it where you would like it. Before you leave this page I want to remind you that if you are going to be taking a leave of absence or a personal day you'll want to go on to inocular and fill out an employee request for leave formerly known as the green form I'll show you how to access the employee request for leave form at the end of this presentation now we're ready to enter in an absence you'll want to click on smart find express here you'll enter in your user ID and your password if you are a new employee and you have not called into the phone system, you'll want to register to get your PIN number. You're going to want to call 602-467-5267. You'll log in using your user ID and password. Your user ID is your social security number. This will bring you to your home screen. Here you can create an absence, review absences, or check reason balances. Today we're going to create an absence, so I'll click on create an absence. Then it'll give you your location, your classification. Here you'll want to select one of the reasons that you're going to be absent. And then you'll have to decide whether a substitute is required, yes or no. My absence will require a substitute, so I'll make sure I click yes. And then we'll want to select the date we're going to be absent and choose the end date. Next, you want to make sure that your start and end times are correct. Then you'll want to scroll down, and here you'll get the opportunity to choose a sub. If you don't have a specific sub in mind, you can click continue, and it'll leave it open, and the system will call any available sub. If you have a specific substitute that you have in mind, you can either enter their phone number or do a name lookup. I'm going to quickly do a name lookup and find a sub and we'll want to click search and here's a sub that I would like to use so I'll click on that sub's name and then when you scroll down you can see that the substitute is now selected next you'll want to click continue and it will show you that you have your absence in you'll want to verify that everything is correct and when you're done you'll want to choose create an absence And then, once you're done, it'll show you job creation successful, and it'll give you your job number. This will be important if you're filling out the employee leave request form. If you want to add in additional absences, you'll click on New Absence and start the whole process again. Or if you're done, you'll simply want to click on Sign Out. If you're taking a personal day off, you'll want to go back to Portal and go into Winocular. Once in Winocular, you'll want to go over to Employee Request for Leave and click the hyperlink. And then you'll want to initiate Request for Leave. On this page, you'll fill out the date requested, the job number, the date initiated, You'll select your school and department, your grade or position, and whether a substitute is required. You'll also want to choose which type 
of leave that you're planning on taking. If you're taking a professional day, you'll want to enter in what the activity will be. The final step is you'll want to select who your approver will be. So you'll find your school location and who you will want to submit this form to. Then you'll simply click complete. Once you've pressed the complete button, you'll want to make sure that you come back to your main page and push the send to supervisor link to finish the flow of your request for leave. Thank you. Today's video was brought to you by the Continuous Improvement and Professional Learning Department. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact your academic facilitators. Thank you and have a wonderful day.